Love? Yep. Hello. We have one person. Hi, Amy. Welcome. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Skylar, yeah. Tegan. Did you get a notification, guys? Thanks for coming on. How are we? I. Yum. Yum. We'll need those. Hi, Mina. Guys. Oh, Kelly, hello. Kelly. Oh, we got 20 people on YouTube. Wow. Hi, everybody. Uh, this one is. That's yours. Beyond me. This one's mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys. I'll tell you what. I'm excited. Oh. Has spoiled me tonight with grilled. Yep. Hey, Holly. What did you get? So Taz got the Beyond Burger with the. Um, no, this is just the Garden Goodness vegan. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the Garden Goodness. And I got the Garden Goodness, but with the Beyond Meat Patty. Oh, my God. It's Look overflowing. at that. I'm so hungry. Oh, my freaking God. That looks mm. unreal. Is that relish? I don't want the, I don't, you want my, um, this? Well, you can put it there, but not necessarily. I have my own beetroot. What's up, guys? Oh, hell's to What's the up? How was your day, everyone? Tempting me to get grilled tomorrow, girls. Honestly, you guys know how much we I reckon grilled. it's a go. Thank you for the gift. Your skin is looking good, Lassie. Bro? And new saves. I've got tan on at the moment, so it looks a bit patchy, but. All the better for seeing you, Taz. Mm. Marcus, same to you. <laughs> My orange juice. <laughs> you took your nail polish off? Mm. Yeah, got all chipped. I'm going to redo it again. What colours do you guys think I should do? I've got blue, green, purple, orange, and pink. And I won't do the rainbow. Maximum two or three colours. Why is every time I'm on, I see you eating? Because we eat when we start our lives most of the time. Yeah, we go live most nights when we're having dinner. Just because it's like the same time every night, really. Hmm. Oh, my God. Thank you for the fires. That's awesome. Green and pink. Ooh. My pink isn't pink enough, though. It's like a really, it's like a white pink. So is isn't as cute with the green. What are you eating? We're having grilled, guys. Remember to eat slow, my love. So we can digest it. It's hard. I know. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> Try to snip your mouth shut. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> How am I going to do this? It's hard. Guys, this is so big. Oh, my God. Mindful eating. See here. Mmm. Your mouth is good. I just got flour all over my face. Tell us about your day, besties. What I worked. Was day? Yeah, it has worked. We went for two walks today. Mm. I did some meditation and some things, and it was a great meditation again today. It was very full on. Mm. 
So down. Can you guys see the crunch? Down. That's intense. That's the lettuce. That's the lettuce. Mm. What did you guys get up to? If you had a good day, put a green heart in the chat. If you had an okay day, put a yellow heart in the chat. If you have a bad day, put a red heart in the chat. Um, but no, our day was pretty good. Did some meditation. It has worked. I just like chilled. I washed my hair. I watched a little bit of Netflix, which is rare for me. So yeah, it was a very relaxing day. Mm -hmm. Why does the burger always slide out with these ones? Mm -hmm. Mm. This is delicious. Uh, it's always a good choice to get grilled. In your merch store, do you guys sell hoodies? We do. Mm -hmm. Different colours too, depending on what you like. Mm. Anyone in the chat purchased a hoodie? How do you like them? What size did you get as well? Um, someone put in the chat that they think I'm eating meat. Guys, this is a vegan patty. Just to let you know. It's the Beyond patty. Mm-hmm. Mm. I have to eat this in circles, otherwise it's all gonna fall apart. <laughs> Good day, legends. Good day. How you going? What's your guys' favourite fast food? Probably grilled. Taz, oh my god, my mum said I can get a hoodie for my birthday. Mm. Yes, Maddie. That's awesome news. Thank you. A funny exchange with your spirit guides. What happened, Holly? Oh, I love that. Mm. I have exciting news. I'm no longer single. Mm. Holly! Wow, sad news. Oh, hope she's okay, Kelly. Mm. That's great news about your girlfriend, though. Is your merch link in your bio on TikTok? It is. If you wanted to have a look at it. Yep. Appreciate you. Have oh. you got a tracking number yet, Tilly? Shouldn't be too long. I'm excited for you. Mm. Keep you warm through the winter. Use your little finger to end this one next to it to keep the food from falling out. Mm. Mm, makes sense. That's a great idea, actually. Are you so the, vegan? We are. Mm hmm. What did you have for dinner? Mm. Hey, Jennifer. Alessia, when do you go back to work? I go back to work on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited. I know it would be good for you to get out of the house. <laughs> mm. Been locked in the house. Ooh. Oh. What made me decide to go vegan is just because of the environment and also I don't want animals to suffer just for my eating pleasure. Uh -huh. uh oh. Mm. No. I know, I'm almost there. I'm almost finished with that. Spilling it everywhere. I don't have a tracking number. Hmm. Okay. We'll find out. I'll look into it. Alessia, what made you decide to go vegan? Well, Olivia, I actually, I've been dating Tess for a while and I sort of was eating vegan on and off. And then... I 
my health or like my gut health was not that good. So I was like having problems with some things. And so I was like, oh, maybe I should change my diet. Anyway, I watched this TikTok about how a girl shrunk her like three centimeter brain tumor in five and a half weeks. She shrunk it like one and a half centimeters just by changing her diet and like meditating and things like that. And then I was like, wow, if she can do that just by eating healthy, imagine what that could do to a healthy body. And so then I was like, okay, well, I'll try 30 days vegan. And then ever since then, because I was able to do 30 days, I'm like, well, I don't want to stop now because I'll break the streak. Can you open this for me? No, Guys, I'm baby. Oh, after. But having a kombucha tonight. I'm not going to be any help. I got the wild berry one. Oh, oh, if I can open it. Put your top over it. Nope, it's even harder. Got it. Yeehaw. I don't need a man to make it happen. <laughs> oh. Natasha said, are the sizes for the jumper on the smaller side? I would say they're pretty true to size. I'm a six and I wear the small and it's fitted. It's not like um, skin tight or anything, but it's like it fits. Yeah. Large. Sorry, medium would be baggy mm. on me and large would be oversized. Yeah. Mm. Kaz, how long have you been vegan for? Um, I think three years. Mm. Yeah, or close to that. Mm. I love your singing, Taz. Thank you. <laughs> Not unless you're getting brainwashed from TikTok. <laughs> Literally. I followed her so I can watch her journey. But that's pretty cool. Oh, it is. And, like, you guys know what I'm like. I'm, like, a firm believer in those kind of things, so. I, I couldn't know. imagine Taz not being vegan. That's nice. <laughs> I like that. I can't imagine going back. Hmm. Jade, sending you love. Hope you get. I hope you have a better day for the rest of the day. Tomorrow's a new day. Hope everything's okay. That rhymed. Mm. Bye. -bye. Oh my god! I saw that video just before I joined your live. Which video did you see? Guys, if you're new here, put a purple heart in the chat. If this is the first time you've ever watched mine and Taz's live streams, pull a purple heart. Yeah. And it was like, you guys followed a porno. Correct. <laughs> Can't we be inspired by some burgers? <laughs> oh, wow. Heaps of new people. Wow. <laughs> We've got Precious, we've got Haley, we've got Nanus, we've got Maya, I think. We've got Dainty Emilio's. Heaps of new guys. Wow, thanks for coming on, guys. We really appreciate that. Do you use. Sorry, I needed to burp. MAC products. Uh, no, I don't use any MAC products. I use like, nah, um, oh my God, I just flicked my hair while I was answering that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't use MAC products. Uh, no, I use a lot of NARS and a lot of Hourglass. Um, I do like NARS as well, but I don't use them as often as well. No, Dudley. As um, often anymore. Guys, look at this. Oh, do you think he wants that? How is he real? 
What's going on, buddy? I think he wants some. Cheeky. Anyways, he's a living teddy bear. Mon, he literally is like a human. I, I love him. Let me take this off. We're eating grilled. How's dinner? Guys. It was great. It was delicious. It's always delicious. I'm still eating chips. It was so good. I love that burger. I want to become vegan. Well, definitely try some vegan options at like takeaway places because that will get you in the mood. Mm. Oi, no. Oh, oh my God, your dog's so cute. Isn't he just the best thing ever? Guys, go and watch the video we recently uploaded. Not the first one, the second one. He honestly. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. Uh, All right, hop down. Anu's like, I've been trying oat milk. Oh, what are your thoughts? Yes, Anu. What about cashew as well? Cashew's good. We, um, I tried oat milk today actually because Alessia talks about it all the mm. time and I didn't mind it did a show on Friday we're getting grilled before came to get the vegan yeah. burger yes Holly well what are you watching at the theatre mm. you make my nursing night shifts bearable oh my god thank you so much for your hard work Oh. Or do they mean nursing their child? Oh, yeah. I don't know. But thank you. Whatever it is. What burgers did you guys order? We got the Garden Goodness burgers and I got it with the Beyond Patty. That's so sweet, Holly. Alicia, that looks busted. I'm loving the hair from Jaden. Mm. At Taz and Alessia, Hello. we are sworn enemies, are we? Jaden said he loves the hair. Oh, thank you. I literally have not done anything different, guys. Maybe because it's washed and fresh. I woke up like this. Flawless. I woke up like this. What? This is too much. There we go. Much better. Hi, India. How do you feel being out of lockdown? Well, we're not out of lockdown yet. I think what? Oh, no, it's as of tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah, look. 11.59. I'm glad that we're coming out of it. Mm. You know? What? Showing you. I think I just got the large chip and ate it. Good job. Cool. Did you want it? No. <laughs> Who's going to leave the last chip? Taz can have it. Mm -mm, I'm full. Why is this squished on both ends? Like, that's just sus. Mm. I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> Taz has to bring back the morning streams of the breakfast show. <laughs> Maybe one day. I could do it more often. Hmm. 
All right, that last one's yours, my love. No, I'm full. I'm literally done. I've cleansed my palate. I'll have it. You half it with me? No. No wonder. I love the breakfast show. You guys like the day live streams? They love the day live streams. Oh, okay. Okay. That was delicious, as it always is. Mm. Anyway, guys, the US? No, we're from Australia. Tell us about you guys. What was the highlight of your day? What was the best thing that happened to you today? We're live on TikTok and YouTube. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We just ate grilled. Found out that I'm pregnant. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Wow. It's amazing. Dan Andrews press conference. <laughs> Peaking. Being able to watch your live. Oh, we're so happy to have oh. you here. It's so interesting that the viewers went up this time once we've stopped eating. That's a first, guys. Hey. Um. Someone said they came out to their mum as lesbian. Oh, my God. Congratulations. I amazing. hope it went well for you. Um, the fact it was confirmed we're out of lockdown, calling Jade after a long day. That's so sweet. Got to hear mm. the greatest accent. <laughs> Do you guys like our accent? I reckon it's horrid. The no. Aussie accent? Mm. Mm. Getting paid tonight so I can go to Kmart. Yes, I love a Kmart shop. Are you guys going to have the Ben and ha a Jerry's ice cream tonight? Yes, we will, but not yet. Points for love your memory. Our other lives. Yeah. Amazing. You guys tell the book before you read it on book club to give it time to buy it. Yes. yes. So we started book club we a couple about, months ago. We gave about three weeks for people to buy it. Yep. You can still join. You just have to catch up. I think we're up to chapter nine. Jen says 30 minutes, Alessia. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. I have to wait 30 minutes for my dessert. So that my dinner hits my stomach and I am aware of how much I'm eating. Anu goes, I think Alessia is pregnant. I'm manifesting it. Whoa. Oh, guys, I'm not. That could cause can a I breakup. Re can so. I? Yeah, yeah, don't manifest that because we're not having a baby anytime soon. Um, <laughs> can I ask you why you think that? I really want to know. I reckon it's because just... I'm like, oh, I went for an ultrasound on my abdomen and then I've been wearing all these big jumpers. No, nah, I think Anu's just saying it because she wants a tender baby. Mm. <laughs> but you both are women. That is correct. So we'll have to do it the special way. Mm -hmm. That only women can do it. Mm -hmm. The expensive way. <laughs> the expensive. <laughs> Million dollar. <laughs> Can't with you. <laughs> She's like, Taz, you read it wrong. Oh. Really? What did. No. What did you say? I still think Alessia is pregnant. Manifesting it. Yeah. I didn't read it wrong. We want to tend a baby. Well, you're going to have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed a new technology comes out so I don't have to carry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. People would judge me so hard. Well, well us. A hundred percent because everyone's going to assume I'm going to, I'm going to carry the baby. Imagine I was like, we're having a baby, but we're not carrying it. We're using the new technology, which is basically just a little shell. A little baby submarine. Yes. <laughs> and it feeds the baby and it nourishes the baby and it helps the baby grow and then boop, comes and then out. We can watch the baby grow. Yeah. Oh, my God. The That's the future. Of... We would I know. That. People would. People would be like. It's not your baby. That's not natural. That's not the natural way. All right, you push it out then. Yes. 
<laughs> Sounds great to me. Sounds great to me too. Oh. If you Google it, there's actually stuff like that they're working on. I've seen it in movies and stuff. Mm. But it kind of makes sense. Like, if I walk around and stuff, there's risk to, like, what I eat, the activities I do, you know. 100%. If it's in a safe environment, it's going to get nourished properly. <laughs> Janae. <laughs> She's like, hello, my dears. Are you talking babies again? <laughs> yes, somehow we always get onto this topic. Okay, that's enough. Yes, anyways, next. Yes, it means there's no, like, human error. Yeah, to an extent. Billie How- Eilish's new album. Ooh, mm. okay. We want to see a baby that looks like the Don. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. want to see a baby that looks like both of us. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just want you in the baby form. Right now, though. <laughs> no, guys, I can confirm it's about 10 years away. Hey, Zoe. Marcus is like, I got a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. We think it's going to be a good live stream, Marcus. Who knows? We need to wait for it to hit nine o'clock before we decide whether Who it's a good night stream. Who knows? Our live streams always get so interesting. It's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening to me. Okay, but can I just say Taz waddling around pregnant would be so cute. <laughs> no. What an adjust. Like imagine, her little... imagine me hangry but all the time. Oh, no. Yep. Not Alessia glitching again. She glitches regularly. I'm going away on August 1st. Ooh. Ooh. I'm jealous. I want to go away. I can totally picture Alessia being pregnant. I cannot. Not opposed? Nah, look, guys. I'm just coming around to actually having a child. Maddie says, would you raise your kids vegan? Oh, are you ready to piss off 211 people on the live stream? <laughs> yeah, yes. I would. <laughs> and then I would give them free choice. Once they can choose. Once they can choose. Once they have their, can make their own decisions then, yeah. verbally, then, yeah, that's up to them. Yeah. But I would, yeah, because I, I mean, I eat vegan, so mm. it's just going to be easier. So, yeah. I'd also have to really look into how to do it properly because yeah. obviously a baby can only eat certain foods. Yes. So you want to make sure that they're getting the right nutrients in. But, yeah, yeah. if there's a way to do it, which I'm sure there is, I'd oh, do it. Oh, if they're like an infant and they need like the milk, the milk and stuff, so whether that's from breastfeeding or mm. formula, then that'll be a different story. Yeah. But, yeah, once they're on solids, I feel like. Mm. I mean, yeah, babies, as long as they're healthy. Babies mostly eat like fruit, veg, mushed up, don't they? Like infants. Yeah, pretty much. So when do they start eating meat? I have no idea. I don't know enough about it. Hey, Charmaine. Have you eaten dinner yet? Yes, we just finished dinner. I love the Sydney vlogs, ladies. Yay, I'm so glad you liked it. Guys, if you don't know, we have a YouTube channel. And we released two new videos last night. So go and have a look. Once you can give them solids, it's free for all. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I mean. They can start eating meat around six to eight months, depending if they're premature or not. Oh, yeah. And they start eating solids. Well, yeah, I guess I just wouldn't give them meat just because. Look, the chicken alternative is pretty good. Yeah, if it's if it's safe for them, which I'm sure it would be, because why the hell would we eat if it's not? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we'd... depends what their little tummies can handle. Oh. Anyways, they get used to veggies real quick. Put it that way. Yes. Moving on. <laughs> I cried last night when Alessia cried in the video. In my in the video. Oh. Guys, I cried in our YouTube video and everyone saw a side that they never see. 
I was cringing a little bit, but I'm glad you guys got to see it. Not me being a hard ass. I know, right? <laughs> Guys, don't spam the chat. Charmaine's like, what are you getting for grilled? We've already demolished it, Charmaine. We got the garden goodness. Yeah. Uh, vegan. And then with the Beyond patty. Yeah. Have you eaten? Oof. I keep Where are your them. rings from? My rings, this one here, uh, my engagement ring is from... <laughs> <laughs> Not... <laughs> kidding this is my right hand sometimes it mirrors on the live stream so um that one there is one i brought myself it's from sarah and sebastian and this one here um my dad gave to my mum uh as like a promise ring cute and mum oh, gave it to me when like i was sarah like 16 ish 16 to 18 <laughs> Holly says, man, I'm exhausted today. Me too. That is like not me jumping when you said that. Oh, my God. <laughs> we love it again, guys. I had Hungry Jacks for dinner. I got the vegan Whopper and cheese. It was so good. Yum. This, I don't like the Rebel Whopper. I don't know if that's the one you got. It tastes a bit like a, a different meat taste. I like the cheeseburger, the veggie cheeseburger one. Love that one. Wait, are you having a baby? No. <laughs> no, Megan. <laughs> now they're asking about proposal. But I know I'm the worst. First but I'm, manifest I'm manifesting that so you guys can talk about proposing as much as you want. <laughs> she keeps saying to me every day when we go for a walk, I can't wait to marry you. And I'm like... I get the hint. <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> the Honestly, you're the only person that starts rumours about yourself. <laughs> uh, where do you guys live? We're from Australia. All right, guys, let's talk about something new. What have we never spoken about before? <laughs> Good question. What's something... You don't know our opinions, feelings, thoughts, stories on. It's making me sick. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, next prank, we are engaged. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, and he's like, sorry, just on the engagement thing. She says, I have faith Taz will do it well after seeing yesterday's YouTube vid. Yes, I know Taz will do it well. Thanks for having faith in me. Okay, any topics or do you know everything about us? What is your favourite thing to do as a couple? Um, Our favourite thing, <laughs> everything. We don't do anything without each other. We literally do not do a single thing without each other. I actually don't know what my favourite thing my is. My favourite one would be sleeping together. I do love getting into bed or waking up and waking up with Taz, 100%. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> my favourite part of the day is literally getting into bed with you. Yeah, I love that. Um. How do you deal with arguments between each other? Taz and I have very good communication, so it's very rare that um, anything ever leads to an argument. Um, but <laughs> how do we resolve them? Oh, sorry, I'm laughing at everyone's comments. <laughs> what are people's comments? Because I said about the bed thing. Funny. Hee <laughs> hee. What do we do when we get in arguments? Yes. Yeah, we so get a bit pissy and then we call each other out. Yes, so we love calling is, each other this out. This is the other day, right? <laughs> Alessia said something like, you do, you did this. And then I was like, wait on, <laughs> let's not point the finger here. Yeah. Are you going to take responsibility for something? She took responsibility for hers. Then I started laying into her. And then she was like, hold up. <laughs> she was like, what about like your part that you've played in this? And I've been like. I don't know if I agreed, but in my head I was like, yeah, she's right. 
No, you didn't agree. But that's fine. At least I know now. Anyways, after <laughs> that, we were like had sort of calmed down and then we went on a walk together to walk Dudley. Mm. And then I basically was just like, oh, like, I'm sorry. I understand the way that you interpreted what I said. However, that wasn't my intention behind what I said. And then I said what I actually meant. Yeah. Okay. But I could totally see the, how she got, she took what I said the wrong way. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, you just talk about it. And if someone's mm. like, yeah, if you just talk calmly about it and you say how you feel and they say how they feel. But you know what I've noticed? A lot of arguments aren't actually about the topic or the issue. No. It's because there's frustration yes. or stress yeah. in one of our lives or both and we find a little thing yes. to have an argument over, which but, I'm sure other people have that yes. same thing. But we don't actually argue. No. We don't. I can't even What's say that. What's an we argument do? to you guys? Like yeah. back and forth? Because yeah. we don't even do that. We don't even do back and forth. Have we ever done it? No. Even when we first started dating? The only one we had mm. was the one that night um, when I was yeah. like, you need to figure out how you feel or yeah, I'm leaving. I remember that one. You were going to catch an Uber home. Yeah, I was. because I You was weren't even going to let me take you because I wouldn't have taken you home. No, I know you wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the only one. And that was before we were even dating. No, it's like they're too spicy to read out loud. Oh, no. I'm trying to scroll. No, you have an argument about an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Janae, you might have to put it um, back in the chat if you ask the question because I couldn't find it. Mm. Taking out the bad days on each other. Yeah, it happens, you know. Alessi wanted you to say you loved her or she was out. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I think she just wanted some respect. <laughs> yeah, just the bare freaking minimum. And to stop confusing her because I was literally like one day I'd be like, yeah, like this is amazing. And then the next day I'm like, no, we can't do this. Yeah. Or Which it wasn't probably... even the next day. It was like every – there was like a three-hour switch. Every couple of hours there would be like a that slither of doubt would come through and it would – and like she didn't even have to say anything. I could literally – she just turned into a different person. One mask was like – one. the mask was put on. Mm. But because she'd already shown me her vulnerable true self, I was like, well, who the hell are you showing me now? Like that's not right. And so then I knew that, like, I knew what she really wanted, but she needed to come to terms mm. and actually Realize voice it. what she wanted. Facts. Anyway, that was the start of our relationship. Mm. It sounded like it was hard, but it was the easiest thing ever. Mm, I had internal struggles. Yes, too. has found it very difficult. It was very easy for me. But it was an easy start. Like, we had no... There's no drama. There was no drama. There was no, like... We got with other people. It was straight away as soon as we met, as soon as we started talking, we were like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Tazzy, not you playing mind games with yourself. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes, man. I was. It was like there was two parts. It was like I was split into two people. It literally, I could see two And I was people. like fighting myself in my own head. Oh, okay. I have a oh, question and I think you guys yeah. will have some interesting answers. Go for it, Janae. Eee, we love interesting questions. Oh, wow. Haley's like, hey, guys, I've got exciting news. I got a graduate position as a nurse for next year. Oh, my God. Well Congratulations, Haley. All your hard work. So deserving. That's amazing. Would you rather live without love or money? I'd rather live without money. money. 100%. Yeah. There is no way. Anything could compare to the way that I feel. As long as I got this kind of love, though. Yeah, yes, 100%. Not an average because if I had this love and we were, like, homeless, it would be fine. As long as I have her, it's fine. Yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> I know that, like, so many people would be rolling their eyes and be like, bull, but I'm dead set. Yeah.
Would you rather a family or one billion dollars and be famous? I'd rather a family. Me too. I, I've always wanted to have a family, so. Mm-hmm. Would you rather get $5 million or $1 million every year? I'd rather get $1 million every year for the rest of my life. Mm. I feel more I'm single every time. time. <laughs> Sorry, Mon. <laughs> Hola. Hey, hey, guys, hey. you should play in the comments. Put uh, So on Janae's question, put a blue heart in the chat if you choose love. Put a yellow heart in the chat if you choose money. Mm-hmm. What would you prefer? To live with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And like I haven't got a lot of money now. Yeah. So my life wouldn't look too much different to what yeah. it does right now. Yeah. <laughs> Not me being painfully single. <laughs> my answer's so much more complex. Oh. That's so interesting. Okay. Go, go Janae. I want to hear it. You guys are like those supportive lesbians here on TikTok. Have you seen that stitch? No, I haven't seen it. I'll look out for it now. I'd choose love, I think, too. Not that's wanting the million dollars for the Tesla. I mean, I've already lived this long alone, so I'll take the money. <laughs> there aren't enough characters to type the message out. Love is always better than money. Love a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Money. I don't want love uh, or need it. Money is what I need. Oh, okay. What, okay, what if the situation was you were on a reality TV show and it was like a Love Island type, so it was a dating show, maybe even The Bachelor or whatever, Bachelorette. You get to the end with a partner. I'm not saying they're the love of your life. You've only known them a month, but there's definitely a connection. And then the host comes in and says, okay, you can choose to leave with this person Or you can choose to leave with $15 million, but you can never speak to that person again. What would you do? Okay, what would you do if that was us at at that month stage? No. Oh, at the month? At the month stage. Because we were pretty in love at at the month. I know. But, ow, did you hear that? Yeah. That was my hip. (sighs) Getting old. Wow. Um, $15 million is a lot of money. I know. And, like... And it was so early on at that That's point. what I mean. Like, month. you could ask me that now and I'd be like, no. Nah. No, yeah. But one month, it's like, do you really know? Ha, ah, I'll take the money. After a month, there's no way I'd have feelings on <laughs> one says. Wow. Both could change my life. Very true. And what would you do, Marcus? Anu, what would you do? The question is, if you were on a show that it was like a relationship show, you got to the end and you could either leave with your partner that you've known for about a month or you could take $15 million and never talk to him again, what would you do? What would you do? What were we doing in a month? Like what? Have we said I love you? Not yet, yeah. Um, oh okay but let's think about it realistically if we were on a tv show in a house together we weren't even for like 15 days of it we were just chatting like mm. so if we were in a house yeah we'd be in love all right i'm choosing alessia (laughs) (laughs) no there's not a guarantee that the partner's 100 percent perfect you definitely have a connection it feels great. It's like that honeymoon phase feeling. Yeah. But, like, you haven't seen them in the real world. You haven't 
met their friends, you don't know much about them. You've just seen them in that controlled environment in a house I pro- mm-hmm. on camera. I probably would have doubted that you were really like that because I already doubted you were as good as you were. <laughs> Yay. Jade says, love, leave with my partner, says Lanou. Eva's like, oh, that's tough. Money, obviously, Marcus says. I yeah, guess, everyone um, does break up after those shows, let's be fair. I've been played so much, been in the honeymoon stage, so nothing, so that's hard. Mm-hmm. Partner, because you can always stay on the same path if things don't work. Mm. True. It's hard because you cannot contact them if you take the money because I know everyone would be like, take the $15 million and then text them. Yeah. You wouldn't get to see how that relationship played out. Oh, my God. I can't imagine not having our relationship. I know. Aww. Charmaine says I'd take love. And it's like, wait, maybe money. <laughs> it's a lot of money, 15 mil. It is a lot of money. All right. What's another topic? All right. Next question. We've never spoken about. Yes. Never. Give us something new here. Team? Something you don't know about us. Also, I just went and popped two pimples and it was so satisfying. I could feel it. And it was hurting me. I swear if these two gorgeous girls break up, bye. (laughs) (laughs) We will not be breaking up. (laughs) Like right now in my life, the money would be so ideal. I Mm. think $15 million would be ideal for literally any time. (laughs) (laughs) The universe can bring that to me right now. <laughs> Jaden <laughs> Jaden I think you know without even <laughs> that's <laughs> what <laughs> what do you think things you did in the Camry younger Taz <laughs> what? what you did Baby. Oh, oh, come on. I've had that car since I was like 18, bro. Give me a break. <laughs> what? Oh, because you don't drive, so you don't know. Mm. Oh. Bob, I did not know you, just so you are aware. <laughs> Our timeline had not crossed paths. Well, you should have known. (laughs) This is going to be the bloody eight-hour thing again. No, it's not. You're the only one that's brought that up. (laughs) No, but that's what it's like. Oh, Bob. (sighs) It's destroying my soul. Okay, no more of those questions. <laughs> I'm not upsetting my girlfriend. Show the bold spot. <laughs> if you saw each other in the street, would you be attracted to each other? Yes. Yes, but I would I wouldn't have thought she was gay. So I wouldn't have Yes, approached. I would have been too scared to approach. You would have known I was gay. No, I said I would have been too scared to approach. But would you have known I was gay? Look, there's a high chance. <laughs> there's a high chance I would have known. Yeah, fair. <laughs> you wouldn't have approached? No, I'm a pussy. So we would have never met? No. We would have just Sad. met on Tinder like we did. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Pretty obvious. <laughs> I'm moving this. I can see that for you. How did your parents meet? Oh, that's such a okay. great question. Guys, I have, okay, I have the best story I don't think about I this. how my mum and dad met. It is, it is literally like a movie. Okay, so are you ready? So my mum and dad are at a nightclub on a night out separately. And then one of my mum's friends introduces her to my dad. 
it's actually an unreal story. I'll get really excited about it. Um, and I might get a little bit wrong, but I know the gist of it. Mm-hmm. Um, introduced my mum to my dad. And my mum was not interested at the start. I feel like that's relatively standard. Um, but my dad was like, oh, my God, like, who is this woman? Like, I want her in my life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But my mum was like, oh, no. Anyways, they met. They talked for a little bit. Um, like, he told her she, he was in the army and, she, you know, she said that, you know, he, she was a hairdresser. And so on. Anyways, that was the the pretty much that entire um, conversation. conversation. Anyway, because Dad was in the army, he was going to be leaving Darwin. Um, I think within like the next twenty four hours or like forty eight hours. Um, and he remembered Mum's name, but he didn't end up getting her number or anything like that. So he was like, "Oh my God, I need to find this woman." Oh, so God. he went. To every single salon in Darwin and asked for Helen to cut his hair. Every single one, every single salon trying to find her and was like, do you know Helen? Like, um, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, oh, yeah, like she works at, you know, my mum's salon. So he walks in and he gets his hair cut by mum. And then at the end he asks her on a date, but for when? He gets back from um, being, what's it called? It's not, the word starts with a D, deployed. Deployed, is that the word? I'm not too yeah, sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's the word. Um, so wow. she agrees. Anyway, he goes away. He comes back. They go on dates and stuff. Guys, he literally, and my dad was such a romantic. It's actually unbelievable. And he was also good at every single thing he did. Yeah. He used to, whenever he got de- um, deployed, he used to write my mum letters. But he wrote them, he wrote the letters backwards so she would have to hold it up against a mirror and read it. And he engraved bullets being like, um, like, I love you, blah, 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 and sent them to her. Oh, he's so thoughtful. Oh, my God. That is such a beautiful story. I know. I would watch this movie and cry. Honestly, I would watch that love story and cry, especially because I've how it ended um I would definitely cry um but yeah such a good story (laughs) and I'm just trying to get matches to talk on tinder I know it was just a different world back then that is so beautiful my god your dad is such a sweetheart everyone needs a man like Alyssa's dad yes Mm -hmm. I would love to watch that oh my god imagine that is a really good story. Honestly. Wow. Imagine how long it would have taken him to write the notes backwards. I know. He was so creative. Guys, literally, I can't even tell you, he was good at everything he did. Wow. I was, um, oh, my God, this is going to get really personal. I was watching um, a video of his funeral uh, the uh, like a couple of weeks slash months ago and everyone who got up to speak only because the last time I saw it was when I was five years old, so I just rewatched it, you know. Mems. Um, so I rewatched it and everyone was like, he was the best at everything. He could have been a professional cricket player. He could have been a professional. He was a professional golf player, basically. He was in the army. He was a firefighter. firefighter. He was the first, he was in the first firefighters calendar ever. And I think he was September. September? God, watch them dig it up. <laughs> no, I don't. It wouldn't be online. If you can find it, send it to me. But anyways, yeah. um, and so he was good at everything he did, and this has literally translated to him in the spiritual realm as well. Because I don't just get any like number signs from him. I get big, big, big signs from him. Like he is one dedicated man, and when yeah. he comes through, he shuts everything else out. That's for sure. Yes, He's a force. He is a force to be reckoned with, that man. <laughs> and you've gotten his abilities too for being able to learn so quickly, I mm. think. Like he was good at everything because he learnt quickly. Mm. You pick up things literally like straight away. Yeah. It takes Alessia like a two, three goes, she's got it. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there like. But he either did it perfectly 
or not at all. Mm. And by perfectly, he obviously like practiced. He was dedicated. Like, level. All, yeah, hundred percent. So, what a man! What a man! What a man! What a man! What a mighty good man! Does hey. your mum have any memories of him? Yeah, she has many memories of him. That's for sure. The way you love to. So true. Mm, this is true. Oh, baby. My mum's an amazing woman too. She obviously raised two quick kids on her own mm. while still being like the top hairdresser in Darwin, travelled the world for hairdressing, went over into Italy, France, all that sort of jazz. Wow. Yeah, has owned multiple salons, put her kids through private school all on her own. We never went without anything, literally. Two legends. I know. Two legends. Two absolute legends. Wow. That's beautiful, Bob. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man, a good man. <laughs> the Europe chat again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with us, Alessia. You're welcome, guys. What's your dad's name? His name was Mark. Do you know what? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is another crazy thing, guys. So... As a kid, I was just like, you know, like you like certain names for no reason at all. The name that I just loved and I always said I was going to name my kid was Mark. And I don't know why. I just always loved that name. I would name all of my characters in like when I played like FIFA, like Sims, Sims. (laughs) they'd all be Mark. And then she's like, my dad's name's Mark. And I was like, get the fuck. (laughs) How crazy is that? (laughs) Yeah, FIFA. What a man, what a man, what a man. Seeing symbols and stuff like, you know, I got to show you. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes, FIFA. Taz the FIFA guru. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. How you can feel his spirit, even Taz considering, yeah, she never met him. So, Deanne, it's actually really interesting because Taz um, and Taz's mum actually feels him more than I do, Um, but that's because I put up some well good barriers between myself and spirituality growing up and now I have to get rid of them to develop that relationship. Um, but if he ever wants to tell me something, he goes through them because yeah. I think one, because I have those walls up, which are actually coming down at the moment. Um, but two, if he came through, I don't think I would believe it's him because I would want it to be him. Mm. Does that make sense? Um, when he comes through to me, he's like, he puts things on like a loop. Mm. in my head and it's like sometimes I'm like no I'm not going to say that because I don't know if that's even him Mm. and it's usually a message for Alessia so I ignore it try and push it aside but he literally won't let up till I say it out of my mouth yeah so yeah he's very (laughs) persuasive yes (laughs) he's a funny one yeah Mm. yes that makes sense amazing and interesting yes it was when I was five guys Mm. but yes that's a beautiful story thank you for sharing I love it I actually forgot about that but I'm so glad we shared that because how cute is it that is beautiful um but yeah So where's the bold spot? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Taz, how did your parents meet? I have a story in my head, but I need confirmation on if it's what I'm thinking. (laughs) Um, Because I've also heard stories from, like, my nan and my nanu, and I think I get some of them confused. Mm. Um, I think it's, like, they... They met at like one of those disco clubs. <laughs> like I think it was something started in a club. Um, but I'll get confirmation and on another live stream I'll share with you. 
it's not as romantic as that. <laughs> but it was still sweet. Like, mm. I feel like relationships back then were, like, so different mm. to what relationships are like now. So I'm lucky that I found you. I know. Me too. Race core, four kids by herself. Wow. Yeah, it's shout amazing. out to all the mums that literally raise the kids by themselves. Shout out to all the dads that do that. Amazing. It's hard enough to do with two people. Yes, let alone one. <laughs> it's insane. Two hundred and sixty eight K on TikTok. What? Oh my god, yeah. Yay. So close to 270 guys. Thank you. That's unreal. Jade, wow. how did we meet? Anu says. Yeah, tell everyone. <laughs> Does anyone have romantic stories on how they met their partner or maybe even one of their exes? If it was a romantic story? Were letters involved? Just that notebook kind of love. Mm. That's actually, have you watched the notebook? Yeah. It's similar. Your dad's, because he goes to the, I know. Oh, my gosh. The notebook was based on my parents. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, how crazy. She's still got the um, bullets and everything. So yeah, good. why would you chuck that oh, out? God, you wouldn't. That's so nice. I know. I have horror stories, not love stories. Oh, no. <laughs> Tilly's like, wait, what? No, <laughs> Tilly, I was kidding, but. <laughs> um. Shall I get the ice cream? I'm pretty full, baby. I'm going to get it for so you. So you get it for you. One of my ex... <sighs> One of my exes rescued me from a corner in a club what? that I couldn't get out of. That's Janae. <laughs> oh, I thought that was you and I was like, what the heck? No. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I have any. I don't think I have any. <sighs> God, romantic. I was on the first hand of Zoom call. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Yawn. <laughs> I like how you've popped back up, G. <laughs> uh, someone needs to crack my neck. Honestly, it hurts so bad, but I'm too scared to get my neck cracked. <sighs> Go ahead, doll. Guys, have you seen our latest TikTok? That's the question. That's the real question. I have a horror story. I waited three hours in line to get into a club, didn't get in, and broken up with. Stop. <laughs> On New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Holly. That's awful. And I met one through a theatre show we did together. Our first convo was crushing on their bestie. Oh, wow. That was a plot twist, you know. <laughs> um, what's, the most float what's the most flirtatious thing you've ever done? I don't know. I don't feel like I'm a good flirt, really. I tell you, I haven't had the best experiences. <laughs> Yes, haven't we all? Oh, I cannot wait for the day I can share things with everyone or if I ever feel like it. That story time will be delicious. <laughs> but we might need a lawyer. <laughs> Sharing is caring. 
how's your basic? Anu says. That's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, we're both crushing on each other's best friend. Oh, wow. Wow. And then that there was, was a triangle. triangle. She, Janae. Hey, Lawrence. Welcome to the stream. How did you make a Tinder swipe romantic? <laughs> Obviously, the swiping part wasn't the romantic part, but it everything was else was. Line. Your first right line wasn't romantic, but I was like, yes, I need to be put in my place, and you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many worse stories from dating. I love this. <laughs> Why do liberals always have the worst <laughs> Most horrible dating stories. Literally. Did a trivia night tonight. It was so fun. I'm so bad at trivia. Glad it went well. Girls have done me more dirty than boys too. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, look. The boys have done me dirty. But girls always know how to do you real dirty, don't they? <laughs> the most dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My gosh, Taz is here. <laughs> what were your Tinder bios? I don't think I had anything written in my Tinder bio. I remember mine, but I'm not repeating it on the live. Actually, I remember one time. Actually, I don't know if it was you or not. You didn't have a Tinder bio. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Um, one time my Tinder bio was that my party trick is. <laughs> I can down a whole bottle of friends. <laughs> oh my god, maybe if that was up I wouldn't have matched. <laughs> I could at the time, but I cannot anymore. Taz is only good at playing FIFA, that's right. Nothing's more awkward than walking past your ex with their new partner. Oh god. <laughs> I can imagine something oh. worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, not trying to be rude, but how old are you guys? I'm 26. And I'm 24. Sorry, I just had my birthday and I... Alessia <laughs> is an alcoholic past tense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say that. Taz, it was easy. All questions about me. Oh, okay. I'd be okay with that trivia. <laughs> are you in Australia? We are in Australia. We're from Melbourne. Anu says, what's the most childish thing you still do? Guys, put it in the chat. Um, Holly's like, I'll give you my Tinder and you can help me find a partner. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, you don't need my help if you're in the right vibration. Uh, Being in the right vibration is what brought Taz through. Mm -hmm. And I reckon I was only in the right vibration for like literally. Me too. A maybe day. a day. <laughs> Not even joking. Yeah. So all you need is that moment, that that mm. one moment to bring you your person. What's the most childish thing you still do? Um, the most childish thing I s the most childish thing I still do is I get really upset when I lose a board game, like to the point where I could literally scream. Mm. I want to, like, push the whole board, yeah, ruin this, the whole thing. This is true. Taz doesn't like losing, that's for sure. Um, mine is probably just asking if you love me. Actually, no. Mine is getting um, jealous when you talk about <laughs> <laughs> your past. My past life. Call it my past Your past life. life. Board games trigger me when I lose. It's just, like, the worst. Well, then don't lose and you won't have a problem. Well, I would win if some people didn't cheat. Um, I don't cheat. I win. Because you cheat. No. I've never cheated. Well, if I lose, someone's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Taz, did you do karaoke at a hotel in Wollongong and strip during it? 
No. No, that doesn't sound like the Taz I know. In Wollongong too. <laughs> no, maybe in a past life, but not that I can recall. <laughs> That's funny. And shrimp. <laughs> I actually only read the first bit uh, and then <laughs> I'd already read it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that so specific? <laughs> is it past nine? Nah, not yet. Someone is impersonating me <laughs> in Wollongong. <laughs> this is why I can't sell the hat because people will impersonate me. And yeah, just rip him all in Just Cinder Arden's doing you dirty. <laughs> just for Big Brother. <laughs> no, just for Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Madison B, you mean? Oh. That's more like it, Jean. Yes. That is more like it. Not Jacinta. <laughs> Guys, I got so much hate in that video. For you. The one that went viral. What one? The one where I'm at behind you on the bed. And remember when we filmed it, we were laughing because I looked so weird. I looked like... But, and we kept trying to refilm it and I just could not get it. And I was like, you know what? Just just do it. it. I don't care. Not thinking 2.4 million people would see it. <laughs> of course, that one goes viral. And then everyone's like, the boy at the back looks like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> and I actually was like, it's kind of true. <laughs> That one should have got more likes, that comment. Far mm. <laughs> out. Why is always that one? Why is always the ones we don't want that go viral? <laughs> because of the energy behind it. We don't care if it doesn't do well, therefore it does well. But for the ones that we do want to do well, we're like, yes, do well, yes, do well. The energy behind it isn't true, so it doesn't do well. <laughs> Lawrence is like, I'm pissing myself. <laughs> Rocky, please. <laughs> Guys, from now on, only refer to me as Rocky. <laughs> like, if I'm not reading your comments and you need to get through to me, just, oi, Rocky. <laughs> oi, Rocky. Uh, has anything gone viral that you looked like crap in or just me? Just you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Now, look, ideally, I have put some videos out there that Rocky and Alessia. <laughs> Here they go. <laughs> I'm full. The confidence when she said just you. <laughs> I'm sorry, every time we laugh, we blow these um, things. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it here so you guys can witness the fun. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> it's like I've come here for entertainment. <laughs> but they've come here for entertainment. It's just like, what's going to happen next? Go get Maccas. We just <laughs> ate. We literally just had um, grilled. Yeah, that's grilled. <laughs> two way street, isn't it? It is a two way street. It is. But tonight it's one way. My way. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. My way. My way or the highway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that trend, but. <laughs> no, leave it there for when we laugh. <laughs> no, it's got to be authentic. <laughs> Ew. 
If you had to absolutely study again, what would you study? Could be anything. Oh, I wouldn't. But if I had to, okay, if I had to, I'd study teaching, psychology still. Oh, if I couldn't do psychology, something in tech. Mm. Oh, no, it wouldn't be teaching, it'd be acting. 100%. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't see you as a teacher, sorry. <laughs> so I just don't see it. <laughs> I'd get up in front of them and probably swear. Like, like, oh would... my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you would be the best teacher though. I want to do psychology. Yeah, I love psych. Love it. I did a little bit of acting in my younger years and I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> Lawrence is like, have you had a few drinks? <laughs> Unfortunately, no, this is us sober. No, yeah, we're sober. <laughs> the only the only drink I have is me, Butchie. <laughs> Can you not call it Butchie? That's a slur. <laughs> is it? No. Butch, though, is like... I mean, some people the identify... The only thing I have but... is my Butchie. <laughs> <laughs> No, people used to bully with that term. What term is it? Butch. That's Some people are masculine. I know, but it wasn't seen that way back when I was at school. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> Do you? They did. I know. That was like a... Like, really rude. What? That was really cruel. I have never heard that. Yeah. I've never used it heard as a slur. It's because you're from Darwin. You're sheltered. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Who's it going to be that blows this first? Because I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a thing in high school. Oh, my God. Maybe it was just your... Like, I must have missed well, that Well, everyone's from different states here. Yeah. because I were not gay, so. Yeah, true, I wasn't. But, like, oh, no one in my school really was. They were probably very scared to come out. I was going to say, someone would be. Just closeted. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Uh, oh, my God, these laughs are making my night so much better. I'm so glad. The study option she picked is so much more mainstream than I thought, Janae said. <laughs> Basic bitches. I think it's just because I don't want to study. What? What? Okay, you guys, put in the chat. What subjects do you think we would study? Oh, I'd love to hear Janae's. So one say for me. Taz, write it, and then Alessia. Don't just write the yes, topic because then we won't know who's who. <laughs> True, Holly? Art. But who? But who? Alessia's nursing. Wow. Taz philosophy. Yep. Oh, I'd love to do philosophy. Literally, I might do that when I get older. I thought Alessia would take something spiritual, but they don't offer anything spiritual at uni. True. I would definitely Taz do science. spiritual. Ooh, okay. Taz music. Alessia fashion design. Alessia art and philosophy. Taz, Taz um. Music and sport, yes. Yeah, true. Taz English, Taz music, astrology. Taz astrology, Taz business, business or marketing, marketing yeah. Alessia drama or art. Literally yeah. everything everyone's suggesting I'm having thoughts about, like, yeah, I'd do that. <laughs> I didn't say uni, I said you had to study. Oh. oh. Well, then that changes it because I okay. thought it was uni. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if I had to study, then yes, I would definitely study. Oh, my God. I would study. Study. Like astrology, augmented reality. No, ancient, ancient, um, artificial intelligence. No, what's the ancient one? Sorry, I'm talking about me. I know, I need your help. I forgot the words. Ancient civilization. Yes, ancient civilization. I would 100% study. 100%. So, did you like what we watched yesterday? I loved it. And I, I would bored. love, I thought you were bored. I would, no, I would love to be the one. I mean, the study behind it would be. But <laughs> archaeology, yeah, 
yeah. archaeology, ancient artifacts, reading like the old tablets. I would love that. But the study behind that would be too much for me. Yeah. It would like be your too life. much. Yeah. It would take your whole life. Yeah. Taz would do sports science. I actually started my uni course doing sports science. Taz would do my degree, Bachelor of Creative Industries. Oh, that sounds so fun. Should be a psychologist. I was studying to be a psychologist. Mm. But I didn't want to talk to one person at a time. I wanted to change many people's lives at once. Mm. One at a time for many years did not, it was not the way I wanted to do it. You'd love my degree, Taz. Oh, I'd love to hear about it, Holly. I thought he was so in. in (laughs) Yeah, no, I would definitely do something in tech. I'm so obsessed with tech. I'd, like, hold myself back from talking about it. But, like, everything in the future excites me. Mm. You can still get the psych degree and do group therapy. I know, but then you have to stick with the the framework, and I think a lot of the framework is what's wrong. Bull. No offense to anyone doing psych, but um, it's like a teacher, yeah. Like teachers probably want to do their own type of curriculum, but you have to do what the school curriculum is. So it is what it is. Um, I just thought it was interesting that, like, anyone can write a psychology book. Like, you don't have to be a psychologist and you could change the world with a book rather than if you literally study 10 years to become a psych and do research, then you could do your paper and literally, like, no one reads it. So welcome back. (laughs) You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it better there? Yeah. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Ow. My face hurts. What did Max study? She didn't study. My mum and dad didn't go to uni. Did your mum? No, or my mum my mom started hairdressing when she was 14. Mm, wow. Yeah. So she didn't do finish year nine because she got um she got really sick mid year eight. And yeah. was sick for an entire year. Oh my god! If I finished school in year nine, I would not have survived. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't know what to do with myself. My mum finished school early too. I think she stopped at year ten. Mm. I think it was more like normalised then mm. to start working. Yeah. Okay, I've got a question. Mm. What would you? What would have made you continue your studies in journalism? Was it? Yeah. Like what? What um, was it that you didn't like? What I didn't made? like the fact that they were trying to teach me how to use Twitter and Tumblr. Like I'd grown up with those programs. I don't need so to dumb. use them. I not you paying your course like your thousands of thousands dollars. of dollars to learn how to use Twitter, like. That's it ain't so it. Um, I realised that I preferred creative writing and, like, news writing is so he said, she said. And also the industry is very competitive and also I don't want to be contributing to the world what the news contributes to the world, mm-hmm. long story short. I don't believe in what it stands for. I don't believe in it. I don't believe... Mm, yeah it's a negative kind of view on the world it is it is there's nothing positive um janae that's so cool about your mum i didn't know she was a dressmaker what well she well that's when she Mm. dropped dropped out of school yeah that is cool yeah i know i could see you guys doing gender studies i did do gender studies i loved it i think i i did it all the way up to my last year i didn't do it in my last year Mm. But I think that's because my uni didn't offer it. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I learned so much in gender studies. Like, I knew nothing about um, 
the LGBT community even. Mm. Gender studies taught me a lot. Creative writing is also my favourite too. You'd be so good at that. I love creative writing, yeah, 100%. I was the first to graduate in the entire family. That's awesome, Lawrence. <laughs> oh, she knows. Mm. Watch yourself. Before you get inside yourself. I ah, know. No. Go ahead, though. <laughs> I am 26. And I am 24. I got to write an essay on queer entertainment this semester. Oh, my God. That's cool. That's awesome. I did, in gender studies, people's attitude towards, I think it was gay men Mm -hmm. or it was, like, the queer community, but there was a focus on gay men. And I had to interview people and, like, transcribe everything they said, and then put it into a paper. Wow. So interesting. And we kind of looked at it over the years and people's attitudes towards um, the LGBT. Loved it because it was a bit of psychology and a bit of gender studies mixed together. Yeah. Oof. My neck. Wow. Are you both gay or bisexual? So I identify as a lesbian. Taz identifies as pansexual. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've written essays on the show Queer Eye and the LGBT presentation. I'm so passionate. Well, representation. I'm so passionate. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Alessia, what's your favourite thing about Taz? And Taz, what's your favourite thing about Alessia? My favourite thing about Taz is everything. Literally, Taz has not a single fault to her. She is perfect in every you single love way. You me that much. I love you more than that. Words cannot put into, like, no, words cannot fathom the way that I love Taz. So I just think <laughs> literally there is not one thing that I dislike about Taz. I love every single bit. In fact, I, I love... I love, love isn't even the right word. Love is an understatement, everything about us. Baby. <laughs> I love you so much. How are you? It is very hard to pick one thing. I love it all. They're like, cute. Even her car. After what you heard tonight, <laughs> even the Camry, even the-, even the Camry, yes, because it's not about what happened in the Camry, it's about what's going to happen in the Tesla. Oh, <laughs> yes, baby, that's what I like. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> you can't believe you said that. That was a good call. Thank you, my love. <laughs> that was gangster, baby. <laughs> love you. It's like, did you get me in the Camry or the Tesla? <laughs> yes. That's the energy we all need in a partner. Damn right. That's my baby. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> She just pops back in the chat <laughs> conveniently. Uh, anyway. <laughs> she looks so sweet, but then she says some things and it's like, hmm, you ain't no angel. I am. I yeah. literally have it tattooed on me. Yeah. Just to remind yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Here for the highlights. You can set up the fireplace setting in the Tesla. (laughs) So romantic. I think I want the Model S, Marcus. Maybe the Model X, though. Mm. If I could have any model. 
Shush, you guys know I have a zoning out problem. Love you, though, G. You're welcome back in at any time. I like how she's here for the good stuff. Yeah, That's of course. the main thing. Spicy combo's back. Can I just get out for a second? Okay. A soft condo. Love you. Love you. All right. Guys, I'm obsessed with this jumper. Tell me it's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Okay. Dubs, hello, Muffin. Come here. Come say hello. Come on. Up, 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 up. Come on, cutie. I'll take the harness off you. Come on. Come on. You're tired. Come on, quickly. Good boy. Nice jumper, dude. Thanks, Marcus. Where did you get it? It's from Meshki, guys. What is your favorite thing about yourself? Uh, my favorite thing about myself is my resilience. Uh, I have a lot of grit. Um, the way people treat me has never impacted the way I feel about people in general. Um, likewise, when, you know, just in general, I always bounce back super fast because I know the worst thing to happen to me isn't the worst thing in the world and it's only going to make me grow. So my favourite thing about me is definitely my resilience. Everyone pop it in the chat. What's your favourite thing about yourself? Operation Steal, this cute dog. He is the cutest thing. Whose dog is he? He is my dog. My little baby. My hair. My eyes. Love that. Keep doing you. I will. Thank you. My hair. Helping people in need. I love that. Hair and eyelashes. Okay, guys, I want you, what's one non-physical thing about yourself that's your favourite thing? You can't choose anything physical. One says, my compassion, my creativeness, that's awesome. Janae says, I missed the question. So we're talking about um, our favourite thing about ourselves, Janae, because someone asked me that question. And I said, my re, um, what did I say? What did I say? I can't remember what I just said and I just said it. G said selflessness. Yep. My ability to find solutions to all problems. Yep. Oh, I said resilience. My oh resilience. Oh, my God. They're so cute together. You two are just picture perfect. Resilience, resilience, sense of humor, mm. thoughtfulness. Resilience. Hey, Dad. Hi, Richie. Um, Dudley, enough. No. He just keeps licking my hands and I don't like it. Dudley, put your head here. Head. Sit. No. Lay down. No. No more licking. Your breath stinks. It's enough. You look sad. What's your favourite thing about yourself? My drive. Your drive. Yes, I love that. How are you girls going? We're good, Dad. Just had a massive dinner, mm -hmm. had some grilled, and just been chatting. How's your night been? What time do you girls usually wake up? Um, Usually about 8.30. <laughs> it's a mukbang. What is a mukbang? It's like when you eat a lot of food. And talk. And talk. We're professionals at that. Yeah. At this stage. But isn't a mukbang really like when you eat a lot of food? Like a sickening amount? Yeah. Usually. My favourite thing about myself is also what gets me into trouble. Oh, what is Interesting. it? Interesting. I guess, yeah, my drive gets me into trouble sometimes too overworking and stuff lockdown's over we can catch up hee <laughs> hee dad ghost 
<laughs> I can't wait. We can. You can show us your new magic trick. <laughs> Stad's been working on one Lucky all you showed us the magic trick oh, last no. time or it would have been waiting weeks to see it. I know. What type of dog is Dudley? Dudley is Cavoodle, but also human. <laughs> My vulnerability mm. and love. Yeah. Yeah, feel that. 100%. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. That's Dudley. Hi, buddy. Hi, baby. I love you. Guys, did you see Dudley now? Uh, TikTok today. <laughs> How many likes has it got? Oh, I think it's got like 7,000. Oh, <gasps> no. <laughs> So if it gets 10,000 likes, we're going to change our PFP. PFP, sorry. <laughs> PFP. Yeah, he was adorable. He was, wasn't he? What is your Harry Potter houses? I'm Ravenclaw. Same. You were so not Ravenclaw. You were Hufflepuff. I know. I am a Hufflepuff, <laughs> but I got Ravenclaw in my thing. So, really? Yeah. We're in the same house. It's meant to be. Yes. Roomies? It's blue too. Oh, that's our favourite colour. It's made for us. It I'm is... Ravenclaw too. Just... <laughs> Say it again. You kiss me on the forehead. Well, no, Dudley. No. Janae says, guess my house. Slytherin. Yeah, that was the first one that came to mind. But she could be any. She could be Ravenclaw. She could be Ravenclaw or Slytherin. But I reckon Slytherin. I'm going to go Slytherin. That was the first thing that came to mind. Same. I F with Slytherins. Janae uh, says, wrong. I'm disappointed. Bugger. <laughs> Hufflepuff. George is a Hufflepuff. Nah. I love that G's a Hufflepuff. <laughs> that is hilarious. Holly's correct. Gryffindor. That was the one we didn't guess. Oh, my God. That makes so much sense, too. I mean, <laughs> I feel like you're a Ravenclaw, but I don't make the rules. <laughs> mm. And Gryffindor. Mm. Wait, was I Gryffindor or Ravenclaw? I feel like you. I feel you're... like I was Ravenclaw. <laughs> were you blue? Blue? I can't. Or were you Harry's? Name. I think you would know if you were in Harry's house. Come on, mate. Gryffindor. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff, apparently. Slytherin. <laughs> Also, I learned about a new personality test yesterday. I like it better than the Myers-Briggs. Oh, Ooh, what is it? What is it? My boss got me to do one recently, and I really like it, but it's paid. But it was super accurate. No. Good boy. Ronda Rousey followed the host. hope it's the real Ronda Rousey. Enneagram. Oh, this is interesting. One point two million tests taken in the last thirty days. That's a lot. What is your love language? My love language is physical touch. We'll have to suss it out. This one. Mm. I like that. I love all stuff like this. Same. I honestly want someone to just tell me about myself. Read my life. Have you done the quiz for the love languages? Yes. But I, I want to do it again. 
Oh, yeah, I want to do it again. Just so I can get a refresher. I wonder if it's changed. He smells like fart. Oh, does he need a wash? Yeah, he needs a wash. It's only been five days. But you're stinky, Bubby. Look at how he's laying. And his hair is short, so I don't know why he's getting this dirty this quickly. You love mommy's cuddles. Okay. He's sleepy. It's Should okay. Should get off soon, mother? I'll take good care of him. We've nearly been on for two hours. Oh, my God. That went so quick. Why don't you do a spiritual reading, Alessia? Because I think there's, like, a fine line between what someone else can tell me uh, i'm not a fine line there's only so much someone can tell me about myself um and what i need to discover for myself because someone can tell you about yourself but until you discover that you'll never believe it and so like i'd love to be told but there's always be that element in me that doesn't believe it until i experience it so even if i'm told then it doesn't really matter because I'm probably not going to believe it until I'm going through it or after it when I'm looking back in hindsight. And so if they tell me something I don't want to hear, what's the point in me stressing about that? You know? Um, quality time than physical touch. So sweet. Um, Tia says... I'm thinking of taking psychology. How did you find it? I think there's a few things to consider. <clears throat> I loved the subject. I'm super interested no. in psychology just in general, part of me. Um, so for the subject, loved it. Loved learning about it. Some of the issues I had with it was it takes so long to – to literally like finish your course and become a psychologist, like seven years. That's a long time. <laughs> um, so you got to be in it for a long time to actually get somewhere. It's also like super rigid. Like you have to follow very strict procedures, do everything a certain way. There's not much room for you to like have personality in it even. Um and I guess the third thing is a lot of people in psychology, I think, went because they were seeking answers for themselves and healing for themselves. But it's really not the place. To be a psychologist, you need to help others find healing. So if you are kind of in a place that you're, like, needing help, Go and see a psychologist. Don't study psychology. And I know that sounds so silly, but there were a lot of people in my course that probably just needed to talk to a psych, not become a psych. Um, but, yeah. That's so interesting. Mm. He's smiling at the camera. <laughs> You're a good boy. He's so sweet. All righty, guys. What a muffin. <laughs> what a little muff muff. Oh. No licking. No. Bum, 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 bum. No, don't lick my hands, please. No. He doesn't want to play the drum. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to jump off. Thank you so much for coming to tonight's live stream. They're starting to get quieter and quieter now, so I feel like we're slowly leveling out. leveling out but that happened before and then it picked up again yes well so, i don't know we'll see yeah um 
uh, we're slowly leveling out again, so we can, we're able to talk to you all, which is really good. It's yeah. nice to see some familiar names in the chat. As per usual, you guys here every night, um, but I just mean have those conversations with you. Yay. Um, so thanks for coming tonight. We will be on again tomorrow, so that's exciting, and we hope to see you there. Thanks for coming on. That was a very professional outro. <laughs> We hope to see you there. Go and follow us on our Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Taz yes. and Alessia. You can find the links in our bio. Rocky, right. look after yourself. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye, Bye, guys. Good night. Have a good sleepy. Bye. Why won't it hit the button? There we go. There we go. <laughs>